This video will consist of an overview of the Quasi Jupiter Hub interface. To launch Quasi Jupiter Hub, go to jupiterhub.quasi.org or launch through the apps page in HydroShare. Once Jupiter Hub has started up, you will choose an environment and will be directed to the Jupiter Lab interface. Please refer to the previous video on environments for more details. The next interface is the launcher. It appears as a tab at the top of the interface. You can swap between the launcher and the other tabs if you have them open. From the launcher, you can open a new blank notebook or a console with the ability to choose a specific conda environment for the coding environment, a terminal, a text file, a markdown file, a Python file. You can access HydroShare on Jupyter, which is the subject of another video, or get contextual help. You can also rearrange your workspace like so. To go back to the launcher page, you can click on the blue button at the top left corner and launch a, another item from the list I mentioned earlier. Within a notebook, the top right corner will show you the kernel. The file tree sidebar shows what directory you are in. How you enter JupyterHub will affect what directory you end up in. If you return from a previous session directly via the URL, you will end up in whatever directory you were last working in. If you launch via the Open With feature, you will be in the directory of the resource you launched from in your downloads. If you are in your home directory and you want to access the contents of a HydroShare resource you opened previously, it will be in Downloads and you will have to drill down to the Contents folder based on the resource ID. Please note that you can create a new folder either in your home directory or within a HydroShare resource directory and upload files to your environment. These files will persist in your working environment, and when you return here, you will see them. However, if you create a folder in a HydroShare resource working environment, please be aware that they are not synchronized with the main HydroShare resource by default. You can use other HydroShare tools to programmatically push files back and forth between HydroShare and JupyterHub. We will cover that topic in another video. To add a folder, click the plus folder icon. To upload something into the current folder, click the up arrow. To refresh the file list, click the cycling arrow. The top toolbar contains 10 actions, some of which also have keyboard shortcuts. The first is a floppy disk icon, a standard symbol for save. The second is a plus icon for inserting a cell below the currently selected cell. The third is cut the selected cell. The fourth is to copy the selected cell. The fifth is to paste cells that you have copied. The sixth is to run the selected cells in advance. The seventh is to interrupt the kernel. And the eighth is to restart the kernel. The ninth is restart the kernel and run the whole notebook. The tenth is a drop down menu that allows you to choose between markdown and code for a selected cell. If you right click in any cell, you will see some of the operations are also available there along with the keyboard shortcuts on the right. You can also use this menu to clear the outputs of a cell. When a cell is selected, you can either hit Run to run the cell or use the keyboard shortcut Shift-Enter. In the Run menu, you will see several other options for how to execute code in conjunction with other actions. To add a cell above a selected cell, hit A. To add a, a cell below a selected cell, hit B. To show contextual help in a new tab, click Help, Show Contextual Help, or use the shortcut shown in your menu. It may differ from user to user. On my Mac, it is Command-I. To use contextual help, click a command. Documentation on that command will appear in the Help window. The Edit menu in JupyterHub typically provides various options to modify the content within Jupyter Notebooks. In the View menu, you will find several useful options to determine how your main Jupyter Notebook and the results of the code in the cells should be displayed. I will cover just two of them in this video. To display line numbers, click on the Show Line Numbers option. To enable side-by-side -side rendering of your coding and results, click the Render Side-by-Side -side option. The Settings menu allows you to control the appearance of your Jupyter Notebook environment by providing multiple options for customizing the visual aspects based on your preferences. From Help, you can also get access to other reference content, such as a Markdown Reference Guide and Code Help. As a good practice, once you have completed your computations in JupyterHub, ensure that you navigate to the File menu. Click on Hub Control Panel and select Stop My Server to properly finish your session.